one that's Diane Moyle, independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! In the U.S., I am um, going to show, demonstrate how I um, cut and created these kind of uh, cards using Stampin' Up! products. And here we go. So, in this card, the materials that we will be using will be a basic black piece of cardstock, cut at four and a, half, a quarter by eleven, and it's scored at five and a half, and that's just in half. And then I use the bone folder to get a nice crisp edge there. We're going to have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is cut at five and a quarter by four. This is going to be for the inside of the card. We're also going to need a um, stitched rectangle cut out of the Whisper White and this rectangle measures uh, it's with the from the stitched rectangle stri stitched framelit dies, and uh, it's the one that measures about two and a quarter by three and a half. We're also going to be using the stitch so sweetly dies, the scalloped um, stitch scalloped one, and this one is going to be the largest one in here and it is so that it can go behind a piece of the designer series paper that we're going to cut. We're going to cut this designer series paper from the Bright's designer series paper stack and this piece is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths and we're going to kind of cut a frame and use the middle piece and the frame in this card. Some of the other products that we will be using will be the Soft Spring Photopolymer Stamp Set. This you can only get if you place a $150 order or you host a party that at least has a minimum of $150 in merchandise. Then you can earn Stampin' Rewards and you'll be able to purchase uh, items in the hostess area as well as the regular catalog to get that and I fell in love with this set it has no sentiments but you can use sentiments from any of your other sets in fact there's a lot of just sentiment stamps out there um, one of them that I was going to use today is the a little hello from the itty bitty greetings and then the uh, Your Friendship is a Blessing from the So Sentimental. Right now, until the um, beginning of June, you can actually get the Stitch So Sweetly Dies and the So Sentimental stamp set as a bundle and save 10% when you do that. At the, um, when, once the new catalog goes um, live, at the beginning of June then um, these will no longer be bundled so you won't be able to get save that 10% so if you would like both of these and several of these sentiments actually fit in these framelits then you'll need to um, in order to get that discount you'll need to get that um, before um, that bundle is done away with and the itty bitty greetings actually comes in a set of two stamps and there's a whole lot of little greetings that can be put on little labels or um, stamped in just small areas so how we're going to create this frame is using the Stampin' Up! trimmer <clears throat> and for this frame we're going to actually cut use this to cut the frame. With the Stampin' Up! trimmer it has um, measurements all the way out to uh, I think it's one and a half inches here so that you can actually measure on both sides of this cutting track. The cutting blade is the darker blade and this scoring blade is the lighter blade. 
And what we will need to do is cut, put this piece of paper in here. You're going to want to line the edge up with the three quarter inch mark and make sure it's all the way up against the top. Then there's measurements along the um, the arm here and you're going to want to set this at three quarters of an inch with this and there's a little line on the trimmer. If you have another trimmer you can uh, modify yours or if you wanted to you could draw lines on the back side of your designer series paper so that they wouldn't be seen and then you can cut them with a craft knife or whatever you have. I just really like the Stampin' Up! trimmer for this. So you're going to measure down the three quarters of an inch and then you're going to want to stop three quarters of an inch from this end. Since this length is a four, um, is, what is it, hold on just a minute, is five and three eighths, three quarters of an inch is going to have you stopping at four and five eighths. Five eighths is the eighth just past the half way or half inch mark. And then you're just going to pick that up, rotate it, line that up again at the three quarters of an inch mark. Move this back down to the three quarters inch. And then this side is four and one eighth, so you're going to want to stop at three and three eighths, which is the eighth mark right before the half inch, the three and a half inch. And then you're going to rotate again, line it up with the three quarters of an inch, start at the three quarter, and again go down to the four and five eighths. and then rotate, repeat. And once you've done that, you will end up with the inside piece that will become a layer and the outside frame that becomes a layer. Now when you're going to be layering these on your card, you will want to make sure that the, uh, because of the directional designer series paper that I chose that the words are all facing up in the right direction. So let me move my trimmer out of the way. So the stamping that we're going to be doing on this card I am going to use on this card I'm going to use the one that looks like to me wisteria this one, um, like some of the other sets that Stampin' Up! has, has some background images that would actually fill in and make this kind of look like a water coloring. Um, if you would rather, you can use Stampin' Write markers or Stampin' Blends to color these in. Or you don't even have to use the outline, you can just use the background pieces. So we're going to stamp on the stitched white um, and then we're also going to stamp on the piece for the inside and then if you want, if you desire, you can also stamp an image on your envelope to give it a little more character. So I'm going to go ahead. One of the things about the follow polymer stamps, sorry my tongue got twisted, is you do need to use a uh, stamp and pierce mat underneath it because this does not have the cushioning like the red rubber stamps then you need the cushion to help get a clear image so I'm going to use the outline stamp and I'm going to ink that up with the memento tuxedo black I think I'm going to come over this way so I can do my a little hello on the lower left corner. And I'm going to also ink that up with the tuxedo black. color 
that I chose for this background is Pacific Point, but I wanted to have a lighter um, coloring, so I'm going to actually use Balmy Blue, and then for the leaves, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green, just to have a kind of lighter background image. You could use uh, any color combinations that you would like. And then you just put these, and it's supposed to just look like a watercolor. It's not supposed to color it exactly. And then the leaves, the background stamp, they have that as well so that it fits this image. And that's that part. So now I'm going to stamp the inside and so I'm going to use the outline again and I will ink that up with the Tuxedo Black. And this time I think I'm going to do a couple of them. need to be careful when you're stamping because you could make some little miss have some mishaps and there are some ways that we can fix those cover them up another image from this stamp set is a little dragonfly since I had a little smudge I'm going to use the dragonfly and just Kind of cover that up and I might just go ahead and add one of those to the front of the card as well and I think I just want another one up over here now I also want to do my sentiment for the inside and like I said I wanted to use that your friendship is a blessing and this is a cling stamp so that it sticks better to the blocks than the old um, clear stamps did I want to make sure that that's straight there we go now I will add these colors again to the inside with the watercolor images. And they don't have to be exact. That's what gives it the homemade character. Granny apple green leaves and then because I do want to have a little bit of extra color I am going to use the Stampin' Right marker in the blueberry bushel. Blueberry bushel is one of the uh, 18 to 20 um, in colors that will be retiring at the um, close of this catalog, the start of the new catalog for to, uh, 2020 for the new annual catalog and the retiring list will be coming out soon so you might want to check that out in case there's items that you want um, that are going to be going away like I said the in the 18 to 20 in colors will for sure be going away and uh, that includes the inks the ink refills the cardstock any of the designer series paper using those colors, the um, ribbons, and I think there were some button embellishments. This is the Blueberry Bushel, Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, um, Grapefruit Grove, and Pineapple Punch. And those tend to go very quickly, so you might want to log into 
the um, shopping website to be able to get those if they are some of your favorite colors or you'd like to have some to back them up when um, they do go away. So these are the pieces that I have stamped on. Um, on my envelope, what I think I'm going to do is actually, now that I've closed the ink, I might as well reopen them. What I think I'm going to do is just add, I kind of did this in uh, another class, but I'm going to take some post-it notes and I'm just going to line it along the edge of the fold for the back flap of the envelope. And I'm just going to use the background images for these and um, I'm going to just have them coming down on the back flap. If it goes off, that's great too. And then I'm going to take the leaves and add some of those, kind of the way they had them. I think I'm going to turn and add a few more going another direction. Because no one actually has to know which direction these went because they're not going to have all the stamp sets in front of them and so it just adds a cute little addition to your envelope so I'm going to close these again and then we will start putting this card together so the way that I devised this was that this frame would create a layer on the cardstock. And we're going to just adhere that with the snail. And you're going to want to get that around the edges fairly well. Make sure your words are going to the end of the card so that it opens correctly. I have had too many errors where I put something on upside down or backwards. Then we're going to layer this piece that we cut out of the inside onto the scalloped rectangle. Making sure that the words are facing up. It won't really matter until you get that stamped piece and make sure that it's on there correctly. Now this one, the scalloped, I mean uh, the stitched rectangle, you're just going to glue it to the top of this um, designer series paper and scalloped rectangle layer. But then on the back of this one, we're going to use the Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to pop that up to give a little bit of dimension. And I use quite a few to make sure that I uh, protect it for when I'm mailing it so that it uh, doesn't crater before the person can get it. And you can use your fingernails if that is your preferred method. Other people have used the piercing tool and uh, there's several other ways of handling that, corralling those. Then this is where you want to make sure that your image and your message and everything are facing the right direction. And then you're going to pop that up over this area that you've already cut out. 
and it just kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. And then we're going to adhere this inside piece. Oop, sorry about that. And make sure that that, again, is facing the right direction. And glue that in there. And then you have a very nice card that you can send to your friends and family and others that may need just a little bit of encouragement or um, want to let them know that you're thinking about them. Um, if you would like to shop with me, right now all I have is my Stampin' Up! Uh, designer or demonstrator page um, website and it's Diane's Die Cut Divas dot stampin up dot net. I am just getting started with videos and trying to establish a blog and other presence. So as soon as I get that, I will update everyone. But thank you for checking out my channel and please click subscribe and like and I would appreciate you sharing me with others. Thank you.